All right. Well, uh, I think it's time we talk about what's really exciting. The, the most the exciting thing. You, this is what you're all tuning in for. Uh, yeah, we know why you're here. We created a bit of a buzz last week. We put out a little tweet. We didn't. I didn't think it was going to go anywhere. I went to bed. Put out basically explaining our plan to choose a team from the so rare universe and become their biggest fans. And we're going to call this like the underdog road to glory. The underdogs, you know, we want to pick a team that is not that well known. They're a little bit of like yeah, kind of battlers in their league, uh, maybe fighting re- relegation or trying fight, you know, trying to get promotion. We want to basically get behind a team, buy a stack on so rare become their biggest fans and just get to know ev- everything about this team. Hometown, yeah. population, uh, home stadium. All, you know, we want yep. the fans coming from the field straight to the, the ground. You know, there's farmers in the team potentially. I think that's like that's what we're really going for. Yeah. What's their city? What's their mascot's name? You know, what's their what's the town flower? <laughs> you know, well, I think we saw how one. The, how many bakeries <laughs> do they have in the vicinity of the stadium? Like, this is what we want to know. I mean, one of my personal favourites that we saw, obviously we received, like you said, so many great teams all mm. around the world. I mean, there was teams from Austria. Um, there's some Peruvian teams there as well. Uh, one that was close to my heart was, uh, I can't remember the name, but the one with the squirrel, the little finger. A couple like, of squirrels and a, and a, I a like little, that. little handgun. Yeah, I like that. Um, but obviously, yeah, Nicholas retweeting it um, throughout the weeks. So he was saying, how good's this? Um, Probably should focus on getting the A-League. Yeah, oh, on, less tweeting and, and more mm-hmm. A-League, I reckon. Yeah. Um, yeah. But good of him to get behind. Yeah, no, it is good. Um, appreciate the support. Um, but, yeah, so I think we'll we receive probably, I think we received like 50 or so. Yeah, so what we're going to do today is we're going to actually draw out 10 uh, teams from that list of 50, uh, and we're going to make a little short list, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put them on Twitter and get you guys to vote for them, um, and we'll have a little giveaway for that as well. So... After we've done that, at the end of the show, we're going to draw our giveaway from the first tweet. Um, Chris Mueller limited card. I think we can all agree Chris Mueller is going to crush it this year. Um, so we're going to draw the winner of that. So stay tuned. Um, all right. So let's pick our first team. Let's do it. All right. All righty. So I'm going to share that screen. Share that screen, boy. All right. So okay. we've got all the teams you guys have uh, suggested here. All right. We're going to pick one at a time. Okay. Uh, do you want me to keep a list? Keep a list, yeah. Okay. Write, this, write this down because we won't remember <laughs> well, we'll not remember it. Okay, first team going into the short list for the underdog road to glory is... Oh, my God. That's exciting. Oh, my God. FC Groningen. FC Groningen. Do you know what league they're in? I do not. And even if I did, I wouldn't be able to tell you anything about it. I believe they're in the Eredivisie, oh, okay. and I believe they're coming 18th. I know how, 18th I know how to place. Okay, yeah, now I understand. Place. Yeah, speaking my language. Okay. All right, let's get our second team. Okay, we're picking another one. Are we ready? So you've got Groningen written down. Groningen is in the books. Here we go. They're going to be Groningen again. <laughs> oh, St. Mirren. Saint All Mirren. right. I think that's the new home of uh, Tony Watt from the um, uh, End Product podcast. Don't listen to the end. I, I don't. But this guy is just French. Very self-absorbed. Is this French? Uh, Scottish, I believe. Oh, Scottish league. Oh, nice. I'm happily support. I think there's a few. Good. There's a few um Scottish it's nominations. Crazy Scots. <laughs> All righty, let's okay. keep going. All right, let's power through. Let's keep this train rolling. Oh my god, this is actually Ross it's County, funny. another Scottish team. All right. All right. All right. Okay, there was actually quite a few Scottish teams. There suggested. was. Yeah. Very passionate. passionate. Oh. Oy. Sometimes we're in the same room, just yeah, it's linking it's up. Linked it up. <laughs> All righty, number four, Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg. Oh, I like that. Bundesliga team. Good at German. Very good, very good. I don't know whether they, whether they, how they. I think they had a tough year last year. I uh, don't know how they're going this year, but I know they've got some good some good players in there. Well, I so. tell you what, if they become our team, we will we will quickly find we'll out. We'll know. We'll know everything they're doing at any moment of the day. All righty. All right, we've done four. Let's bring in the fifth. chaos energy. Number five. Be. Circle of Bruges. Circle of Bruges. Love it. Remember, that's the team that had Dino Hodic. I think they still do. They still do. I don't think he scored a goal or an assist all year. <laughs> right. okay. Circle of Bruges. Okay, Love, that. Love nice. that. How many is that? That's five. Five. Halfway, Halfway there. We are. Oh, nice. That's the uh, Quoll got his Garrett first Quoll. start. Another Scottish team. I reckon there's going to be a 
Shit. This is a Scottish website. <laughs> All right, number seven. It's a Scottish podcast. Hearts would be great. FC Lens. Is French, that? I believe. Long? I think it's pronounced Wong. I think that was. I think in that tweet, I think they said that they're normally a pretty strong club, but they're like fighting relegation. Oh, uh, they've fallen off. Okay, I think this is where uh, Bookser is, if I'm not mistaken. And Bookser. Oh, yeah, he is. Ooh. There you go. Uh, I'm good. assuming it's not pronounced Lens. It never is. is no, it? it's like Go Ahead Eagles. Long? There's no way it's Go Ahead Eagles. No. <laughs> go Ahead. Okay, is this number eight? Stop offending people, go. Yeah, let's go before we lose our listener base. <laughs> oh, oh no, nice. Leza. This is uh, Chilean league? Brazilian. Damn, close. <laughs> but it's the one with like the blue, white, and red. Titty's there. Titty's there. Also, Pikachu, one of their star players. So, Titty and Pikachu, can't wait to <laughs> oh, get them boys in oh, the club. get on that train. <laughs> Come on, some. All right, is this the last one? No, mate. Nine? Two, four, six, eight. This is nine. Here we go. No. No, we've got six lands. Damn. Greedy. We probably should have chosen Car um, Pete. No, I think he could be here for a while. Incheon. All right. That's oh, my uh, for Incheon. That's where Korean? my boy Shin Jin Ho has just signed. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm very excited about Incheon. All right, last one. Whew. Exciting. Handle. Give me an F uh, St. Louis. Nope. Circle move. <laughs> Show me the money. All right. You left club. Nope. You left that one as well. All right. I'm bad with this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have to trim some of these. <laughs> Hey, Kashima Atlas. All right, so All we've got right. J-League. We've got some good representation. This is really good. Okay, so we've got FC Groningen, uh, St. Mirren, Ross County, Wolfsburg, Circle Bruges, Hearts, FC Lunds, Portalia, Incheon, Incheon, sorry, and Kashima Atlas. All righty. I'm very excited by this list. This is a good good spread. I didn't. We didn't want any big clubs. Like Even the MLS is a bit too mainstream. I think mm. these, are, these are good. I know nothing about... Any of these teams, really? No. Um, I'm still going to find out. If you is it? Do, do you think if I if you were to pick, who would you want, or do well, we leave it right up to the gods? I mean, we're leaving it up to the, the Twitter gods. Um, but I think if I was to pick one of those, oh, it's tough. So our plan with this, and this yes. may take eight years. <laughs> yeah. But the plan is to run a stack from this team week in week out. Yeah. In Olympic. plug them in. They could be versing the best team in the league and we'll plug them in. We could do rare. Is that too much? Wait. Uh, it depends how much okay, they... Let's just focus on limited. Focus on limited. And everything we win with this stack, we will put into a kitty and we will put towards... We'll get some jerseys. Definitely. Some and ultimately, jerseys. we want to go and see this team play. Yeah. I think trying to get it through prize money alone probably will never happen. Well, how, how, how many limited it. wins? How many burritos do you need? Do you book an air flight, air, air As airplane? As long as we don't so. cash out for a burrito every week, we could get there in the next in the decade. Yeah, okay. But that's the plan. Potentially, we can start putting some of our other winnings towards a potential trip. Um, but we want to go and see these boys in the flesh. It would be great. And I think looking at that list, I'd love to go to Scotland and watch some Scottish Premier League. I'd love to go to Wolfsburg. I feel like German, like Germans, you know, they drinking like kegs of beer and throwing fire sticks and stuff in the air. Um, I don't know. They're all cool. I, yeah, I, I, I'd be happy to go and see all of them. So you can only have one. So. It's in your hands now, guys. We're going to run another competition. Uh, we've got an Alan Polito limited up for grabs. So I'll put that out on Twitter after the episode goes live. Get you guys to vote. Share it around. Get other people to vote. And you know, by this time next week, we'll have a winner, and we'll become their biggest fans. Nice. Uh -huh. Thank you.